Hello and welcome to Astra Pictures. Today, we'll start creating this engaging post together. By taking inspiration from this video and using these techniques, you can create amazing designs. In the first step, we'll create a beautiful background. For this, we'll create a radial gradient using the specified color codes. We use reverse to swap the colors. Next create a new layer select the brush tool, set it to high hardness high flow and use a specific size and color click on the canvas. Then, change the blend mode of this layer to linear dodge. Open the pineapple image and use one of the selection methods to isolate it from the background. For now, import the pineapple as it is and convert it to a smart object. In the final step, use a special trick to remove any leftover background areas. Use the rectangular marquee tool to select half of the image and use the shortcut Ctrl J to copy the selected layer. Do the same for the other half of the image. Place each section in your desired position. You can use the shortcut Ctrl T to resize and adjust the orientation of the layers. Finally, based on the placement of the other layers, you can make adjustments to these two layers as needed. Open the pineapple slice image and use your preferred method to select it and remove the background. To learn how to select and separate a subject from the background using the mask tool, you can watch the video provided in the description. After removing the background, import it into the document and convert it to a smart object. Press the shortcut Ctrl T, right click on the layer. Use the distort function to position the pineapple slice in the desired location. Use the brush tool while on the layer mask to remove any extra parts. Repeat these steps for the other section. Draw a circle for the remaining empty area and apply a gradient overlay to it. Hold down the Alt key and drag the gradient overlay to apply it to the new layer. Remove the extra parts of the circle using your preferred method. To make it easier to access the layers, group them together. Import the product image into the document. Convert it to a smart object. After positioning the image components, use a black brush with zero hardness and low flow to create shadows for each section. create shadows on objects, clip the new layer to the main layer. To create shadows on objects, you can use the gradient tool and clip it to the main layer. To make the lighting and colors look more natural, use the vibrance and levels adjustment layers. Don't forget that all adjustment layers should be clipped to the main layer. Click on each layer and make adjustments using the brush, eraser, masks, and other tools to achieve a more natural result. You can achieve a more natural result by setting the blend mode of the shadow layers to multiply and the blend mode of the highlight layers to screen. With more practice, the shadows will become more realistic. Achieving the desired result, click on the bottommost adjustment layer. Then hold down the shift key and click on the topmost adjustment layer. Now, hold down the alt key and drag the selected layers to the desired layer to create a copy of them. Don't forget that all adjustment layers should be clipped to the main layer. Adjust the top part of the image for light and shadow based on the direction of light using Photoshop's tools.
Adjust the light and shadow of the product layer using the previous methods. Isolate one of the pineapple slice using your preferred method, and bring it into the document. Apply the Gaussian blur filter to your desired amount. Hold down the Alt key and drag the mouse to duplicate the layer and change its direction. You can adjust the filter amount at any time by clicking on the Smart Filter. And now, use the Color Range method for a special background removal technique. Select the pineapple layer and apply a mask to it. Click on the mask to select it. Use the Lasso tool to select the desired area. Now, from the Select menu, choose Color Range and proceed as shown in the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment. Subscribe for more tutorials.